So this week I'm continuing my art book series here on my drawing channel. My name's Karen Campbell and I'm an artist and author myself of a lot of art books. So I collect art books because I love them. And I also love Christopher Hart, who is a very prolific art book author. He also has a kick-ass YouTube channel if you have not checked that out, which you should right after watching this. I have just a couple couple of his books and I want to do a drawing from one of them today to show you how awesome he is at laying out step-by-step -step instructions so that anyone can follow there's a big reason why he's so popular and he's so good at drawing let's check out one of his books a little bit up close all right I'll meet you at your drawing table go grab a pencil and a paper because we're gonna draw okay I lied a little when I held up that little pile I was missing half my sack I actually have <laughs> 11 books by Christopher Hart. All right, so it was really hard trying to pick one book. So I actually just chose one at random today and thought, <laughs> cause it would just be more fun. So the one I randomly selected is the Beginner's Fashion Design Studio, easy templates for drawing fashion favorites. I've been waiting for him to do some fashion figures on his YouTube channel. I've been following him for years. Um, and I don't see them. He keeps it really simple. I do think he does a lot of things more for kids than like adult nerds like me who are still following him, even though I'm an established artist and 45 years old. Um, I love it when people are awesome at breaking things down and making them super simple. Like I think universally humans are like, let's learn something new. And please, can it be as easy as possible? Like, come on way better if it's easy. So I love him for that. So Christopher Hart, if you're watching, which you never will, you are awesome. You've inspired and educated over two generations of people. Keep up the awesome work. So yeah, I love doing fashion figures. Um, on my mixed media channel on YouTube in 2017, I did an entire fashion illustration series where I taught myself fashion illustration and it was completely and utterly ridiculous and so much fun, like so much fun. I'm actually working on um, my first figures book myself this spring and I'm super excited about it. Um, it's all I'm gonna say for right now, but I will give you sneak peeks as I go through them. But um, there's actually a ton of different ways to draw figures. So it, my book is actually gonna be covering all of them. So yeah, so that's kind of neat. It's like a compilation. And I love Christopher Hurt's style. It is very cartoony, but I love that. It's, I feel like it's kind of semi-related to my own Funfab face style. Um, which I don't even have my book around, so I won't even grab it. But yeah, just one, two, three, four, five, five steps. Easy peasy, easy to follow, very nicely laid out. So we have faces, different poses, and then he dives right into the body. So just showing you the flip through before I dive in. And I want to draw every single one. <laughs> I really do. I'm like, oh, I could do this one or this one. I would do this one. How about this one? I would do them all, but actually I'm going to do this girl because it was so weird. So when I do um, a lot of the drawings that I've done for myself for fun, I do these bell bottom shoes and I also do flare sleeves. I don't know why, but I was, I was flipping through this book. I actually have never drawn from here before. I was noticing he has, a, he does kind of some of the same things like this kind of sleeve. I always, always do that. And I don't know why I feel like it's just my pencil just kind of likes making that kind of motion. So yeah, I just think it's funny. So anyways, love him, love all of his books. He is a billion. Um, just a great teacher, seems like a super great guy and can't say enough awesome things about Christopher Hart, truly. He's awesome, awesome. All right, so let's do this one. So as you know, oh, and actually you might not know, I'm actually doing the same series on my mixed media channel, but for all like painting and mixed media books. So. I'm also kind of critiquing, I don't wanna say criticizing, because if I don't like a book, I'm not even gonna share it with you, but I also am sort of critiquing the, art, the artist and author's way of teaching, because uh, I'm picky, because I do my own books, so I give kudos, I'm only highlighting books that do the best job at breaking down the steps in a lot of clear, concise ways so that you can follow along. Now, this might be a lot to start with if you're not drawing 
I'm gonna, if you're new to drawing, so I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, Jamie, you're looking very handsome today, my friends. And meanwhile, my husband's right behind me. He's like, what the hell? But yeah, Sean, you can be covered up. <clears throat> Jamie and I are having a drawing session right now. Thank you. All right, so the first step, uh, and the blue arrows are very helpful because it helps reinforce sort of the directionality of what is happening here. So the first step is sort of this egg shape, right? And also the first, before I even start, <clears throat> I'm actually gonna raise this up because look how long her legs are. They are this long. So sometimes before I even get started, I kind of give myself parameters so I know where I'm going. So if I'm, if the legs are landing down here and they are more than halfway up, I mean, they're gonna, the, her belt is like way up here, which is so fun. So now I know like where I'm going. And then the upper part is maybe only this high. So before I even put a mark down, actually my head is, ex nope, my head was down here. So I'm glad I took a time to kind of lay, lay that out. Okay, so first we had her, her head, which was like a kind of an oval going this way. It's kind of an egg shape. And then it kind of goes, comes to a little point down here, I'm noticing. Okay, and that was our first step. All right, so then the neck seems to kind of go off. You guys can draw along with me. Don't be shy now. I don't like to draw alone. It's lonely. So we can put the little neck coming off the back. It's just one line at this point. And then the shoulders are straight horizontal here. <clears throat> and then we have these big curves that he's warning us about. So we go this way and then it swoops super inward like that. And then it swoops out. So it's an S swoop. And then the bum comes out like that. All right. So this big S curve is right there. Now we have the front, which is kind of parallel to this back line. And then we scoot in and then we scoot out. And then he has a bit, bit of a waistline here. And then we're coming down and around. Crazy. All right, so here's our little fun little boop. Now I'm following, I'm not actually looking at this picture, I'm actually overlooking at my, the first set of directions. And then coming off of this section, he has, it's sloping forward a little bit like this, and then there's a circle. And then the bend goes the other way when it comes down this way. So all of these subtle movements are what makes the figure so challenging to draw. So then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna move up a little bit. I already know my knee is gonna be like here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna aim to hit that here. And then again, this line comes inwards like that. Okay, so that is step one. That's step one, which is kind of a lot of steps, but it's okay. It's okay. He, between the words, his notes, and the blue arrows, we can, we can get there. Okay? Now, what's the difference between step one and two? We're going to add an arm. Okay? <clears throat> We're going to add an arm. So there's a ball here that I wasn't there before that I see now. There's this ball up here. And then there's a line that comes here, which if this is the waistline, the elbow looks to come just below it right here. And then there's a little oval he's got, a little placeholder there. And then this line comes in. And then I love the hand. It's like a solid block. Zoom in super close so you can see it. This block. Oh my God, hands are always hilarious. One, two, three, four. So she looks like an eggplant. That just happens sometimes. Okay. 
Now we're on to step three, okay? Step three, there's a lot going on. So first we're going to put in her little face. Oh, also step two, neck, complete. Okay, so we're gonna do the little face guidelines. So there's one here. We know if you're hanging out with me, you know I'm obsessed with guidelines. Put them in every time, especially small faces because they're crazy tiny. Okay, so we have our horizontal, right? Which is always the eye line, which is halfway between the top of the head and the chin. And then the vertical lines up everything left to right. Now she has super cool hair. So we're only gonna see the little peekaboo one eye on this side. Okay, so it's so I hate working small. Karen, get over it, get over it. Okay, we have our little eye and her eyelashes. And her little eyebrow, which is so tiny. It's just a tiny little line. And then her little lips. Hey, hey girl. Oh, yeah. Then they start talking to me. It happens every time. Here's her ear. And what else we got going on? All right, we're gonna round this area. We are gonna give her arms. So we're gonna we're gonna first round out the shoulder. And I'm just doing what Christopher Hart's telling me to do. I'm not making any of this up. And then we're gonna come down till we hit this elbow. And we're gonna come around till we hit that wrist. And this whoop, connects up with the forearm. And this, whoop, that little armpit arm comes here. Shoop. All right. We're cruising. We're cruising along. Now we gotta put some legs on. Cause she's just sticks right now. All right, so we have her bum curve, and then narrowest point of the pants, he's highlighting right here. So let's see, shoop, shoop. And then I'm, I'm sneaking a peek at this reference because I like to know where this is all going. So this seems to be the front of the leg. And then, God, I love bells, bell bottoms. Shushum. And then this kind of kicks this way for a super big bell bottom. Awesome fun. All right, next, we got to pop on this leg. Whee! Ooh. And then it switches directions. You know, I'm gonna have mine pop out the back, which his doesn't do, but <laughs> crazy like that. I don't know. And then we kind of meet them up like that. I think also my check is way more <laughs> curved in. I'm gonna I'm gonna knock that back a little bit. She's a little too cray cray. So I'm gonna let's just carve off a little bit of that crazy. All right, and then people who are sensitive about skinniness of models, we're just drawing stuff, guys, okay? We're just drawing. This isn't a real person. I know she's skinny, but she's not real. She didn't have to diet to appear on this page. It's okay. You draw all sorts of people, and then it's all good. Okay, so we have this, and then she's looking good. We're good. All right, now we are on step four. Awesome possum. I'm just gonna start a new vid because this one gets long. Okay, so step four, we're gonna add some hair on this step. Awesome. So the hair is gonna have a little side part rocking right here, okay? Zoom in, super dupes, so you can see it. So the right side just comes over like this. And then it comes back. And then the left side, I love is chunky. He's got the best, like, I love how it just, everything is super simplified. Cause hair, people super stress out about hair and it's like, yeah, but just do the outline. And the rest is kind of inferred. You don't have to even draw more than just the outline. So whenever you're ready, 
you can, it's always exciting to erase the guidelines, always. Meanwhile, I leave her face guidelines and just get rid of her head. Sorry, girlfriend, I'm coming. She's so cute. Okay, so what else we got going on? Um, oh, we're gonna give her some hands. Don't forget the hands. Oh, hands, oh, hands. So crazy hands. So big hands, realistic hands, I can do all day long. I even published a book on hands. Um, hands on a small scale are a completely different story. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is true. So here we go. The fashion illustration course is the best because it's it's drawing claws and we have so many laughs over hands. All right, so here's one finger. Oh, I don't even know where the other finger left. I like just, it disappeared. Oh, that one's too short. That one, oh, oh look, they're all different lengths. No, Christopher Hart, don't judge us. We're still learning. Look at this. They're all different lengths. So he actually connects the two and the third, which I, I admire. I mean, why not just connect them? I can't even draw this small. Like my finger, my lead is bigger than the width of my, oh lordy. Every time, stop laughing at me. <laughs> you try drawing hands, it's super hard. I can't draw small, it's one of my biggest it's my kryptonite is drawing small. And I will always complain about it. It just is. Okay, so what do we have to do? We gotta get rid of these guidelines on our legs. Do, 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 do. Okay. Actually, I can't believe I didn't mess up her tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny little face. Are we there? What's next? I feel like we're getting so close. Then we just indicate some fraying in the torn and patchy areas. Okay. Oh, look at her cute knee sticking out. I want to do that. Christopher Hart. Means we have to kind of have our knee peekabooing through here. You guys see that? It's so fun. And then there's some, you know, fur 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 lines is what we call those. In the art industry, they're the fra 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 lines, and if you don't draw them well, then your drawing is going to be horrible. So, sorry to say, you got to really master the fra 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 lines. Yes, from one this expert to another. Just saying. All right, I like the big fat belt. Junk. It goes with the whole high waisted jeans. Can you guys believe that the high waisted jean fashion is back? It's like my '80s mom fashion sense is just screams no and then my like fat winter belly is like nice so I'm a little conflicted about the whole the whole situation but I like this little maybe hers is gonna be striped you guys all we have left is color her in this is so fun now so wow that is the wrong way now normally I like to do a little outlining first and then I do the coloring in. So I do think that I'm gonna do that. I also think that it's kind of boring to watch someone color, uh, outline and color some in. So I will probably just time lapse that for you. Cause like I said, I'm boring, but I will be using my favorite uh, black fine liners by Molito because they are pigment based. They do not smear when I use them with alcohol markers. So we're going to do the fr 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 lines with this little baby uh, fine liner for starters. Oh, and also her hands. Anything that's teeny tiny. Oh, the hand situation. Always, just, always just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. 
Uh, and then I'm gonna do, so I did all that with a point two. Now I'm gonna do the rest of her in, I don't know where all my fine liners went. I have like 8,000 different kinds. These are Copic fine liners, which are a lot more expensive. This one is probably dried out. Oh yeah, it is, I use them. Although you can buy refills, just so you know. The Copic fine liners, they sell refills. I did my entire learn to draw Art Deco style books. I swear to God that .5 I used for everything. So this is bigger. So I gave her a full sleeve because I forgot to not do that. <laughs> We'll just have her like have just random high waisted, whatever this is, something with stripes. Oh yeah, oh see, oh, I forgot she could have pockets. Now I had her hand lower than the final. So she's not gonna put her hands in her pockets. So the reason I like to do fine liner and then, well, you could do either way. You could color and then do the outline, but I like to do the outline first and then I erase all the graphite before I color. Let's see kind of her other eye a little bit because graphite totally smudges your markers. I love alcohol markers because they're colorful, they're fast, and they're fun. So I use them all the time. All right, so I will time lapse. Oh, her mouth, I, her mouth disappeared. She has no mouth or nose. Oh, hey, I just gave her a little smile with her little face, hi. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. All right, I'm gonna get my markers. We can color them in. And then I'm going to link to a playlist for my other drawing um, videos that I've done for the other books because we're doing projects all the time and it's super fun. So let's color this one in.